what happens if the white fish succeeds in eating up the dark fish? The white fish disappears as well as the dark one, because the white one is only there in relation to the dark. So then, if these two fishes, as it were, wake up, if this one wakes up and this one wakes up, which is called awakening, they realize they're one. In other words, they go together. They're inseparable from each other. And this realization is that experience, which is called in Zen, Satori, or in Buddhism, Bodhi, waking. This sudden dawning on our consciousness, that life is not really a contest to make yes triumph over no, to make the positive triumph over the negative. The two sides go together. And then one sees in this strange way that underlying all that is negative in the world, all that is in a way painful and evil, there is a kind of necessity to it. It goes with the good. It is necessary for the good. Disorder is necessary for the manifestation of order, just as you must have, say, a black background to show up a light figure. And then when one sees that, a profound transformation takes place in one's attitude to the world. That is to say, instead of looking upon life as a contest, it becomes a dance, it becomes a game. One doesn't withdraw from it, one doesn't stop living. One goes into the game so that these revolving fishes are no longer trying to eat each other, but they're just going around dancing, having the biggest fun.